Hi, I'm Fred Hoyle. A junkyard contains all the bits and pieces of a Boeing 747, dismembered and in disarray. A whirlwind happens to blow through the yard. What is the chance that after its passage a fully assembled 747, ready to fly, will be found standing there? So small as to be negligible, even if a tornado were to blow through enough junkyards to fill the whole universe. How, for instance, would the enzyme clump distinguish an exceedingly infrequent useful enzyme from the overwhelming majority of useless chains of amino acids? The one potential enzyme would be so infrequent that the aggregate might have to encounter 50 quintillion, that is 50 to the power of 18 useless chains before meeting a suitable one dot in short. There is not a shred of objective evidence to support the hypothesis that life began in an organic soup here on the earth. So why do biologists indulge in unsubstantiated fantasies in order to deny what is so patently obvious, that the 200,000 amino acid chains, and hence life, did not appear by chance? The answer lies in a theory developed over a century ago, which sought to explain the development of life as an inevitable product of the purely local natural processes. Its author, Charles Darwin, hesitated to challenge the Church's doctrine on the creation. However, he privately suggested that life itself may have been produced in some warm little pond, and to this day his followers have sought to explain the origin of terrestrial life in terms of a process of chemical evolution from the primordial soup. But, as we have seen, this simply does not fit the facts. Given the nature of forces in a tornado, it is not only statistically improbable to the enormous extreme for a tornado to assemble a 747 from a junkyard full of parts, it is truly impossible, because while it is hypothetically possible to bring a pair of parts into the correct alignment through the wild winds of a tornado, the same forces would just as quickly separate them again. Not only that, but tornado winds will never exert the kind of forces necessary to tighten a screw, or fasten a rivet. Analogous difficulties can easily be seen in any attempt to form useful proteins necessary for cell survival in even the most basic cells.